Hi guys, it's Sarah from Outlander TV News. I'm bringing you another video. I know this is like really random, um, but I bought this box of CZX Outlander trading cards um, last week and it was finally delivered. So I thought I'd share um, opening this with you. Okay, so CZX um, is like a high-end um, version of the trading cards for Outlander um, that I've done since they've done season one. Um, season four um, trading cards are coming out this summer, I believe. Um, so if you want to get on that. So these are more exp expensive. Um, and I think when they originally came out, it was like $225 to $250 for a box, which is a lot. Um, the website Dave and Adams Cards actually had a sale and... These were like $138, $139, so I just went ahead and splurged and got it because, heck, it's Corona time. I don't have anything else to do. Um, so I thought I would do a little video uh, for this, but I've mostly gotten all of my CZX cards off of eBay um, rather than spending a lot of money on one box and not knowing what you're going to get. So, um, all right, so I know there's not that many cards in here. Um, and that was one of the complaints when they put this out. Um, but I think you're guaranteed like two hits. So we'll see what I get. All right. I'm going to sit down and try to get this open. I probably should have cut, cut it open. And this is not sponsored by Cryptozoic anyway, or Sony or whatever. I paid for this myself and I usually um, do these openings with my friend Megan but uh, that wasn't gonna happen we are staying away from each other like everybody should unless you're family and you already live with people you really shouldn't be hanging out with them so actually um the last episode of Outlander, we actually watched online together through um, a website that I found where you could like share videos with another person um, and then be able to still see each other and um, talk to each other during the episode. So that was kind of cool. Okay, so like I said, I've never gotten a box of these. So let's see. Ooh, fancy. Oh, and legit, this thing will not come out, so that's cool. Okay, so <laughs> see how many packs of cards there are in here? One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, six packs. All right, let's uh, get this show on the road. Obviously, I haven't opened these yet, so I have no idea what I'm going to get. I don't know what these cards are going to look like. Um, or anything. So here we go. Move those over. Make sure I'm still okay. So um, one thing with these, um, I already see this is a Joe Abernathy quote on this one. So with these, the reason they're more expensive, um, they're higher qu quality cards, so they're a lot thicker, um, and there's less of them as well. So it's more high quality. Um, you'd have to ask Cryptozoic whether they're going to make another. Uh, round of these or new ones or if they're just going to go ahead with the regular trading cards. So, all right. Ooh. I think this is my favorite card. Whenever I get this as a trading card, I'm really super excited. So, um, there's that. You can see, I don't, you can't really, my hands are a little shaky too, sorry. Um, but it's a thicker card. Um, let me just stop real quick. <clears throat> I'll show you my little uh, binder that has some other cards so just for comparison's sake so um, I'm not like trying to brag here or anything like that so um, the regular trading cards obviously like thinner so um, so it's a, a higher quality product and it feels you know like there's definitely some weight to it so All right, back to this, sorry. I 
got distracted, but I wanted to show you some of the differences. So, got that one. America the Beautiful. Um, it's a star power card for Dougal. Um, I really have to look up um, what the red one means or whatever the version this is. Um, so that's like a, I guess a special card. Um, what was that season two? Yep. Season three? And that's the one with Joe on the other side. I'm super excited I got this. Yes, please. So I will tell you one difference is these base cards, I mean, the regular ones don't have this embossing on them at all, and every single one of these does. So um, I'm just going to leave that there because I like it. Okay. Second pack. Sorry if I'm rambling, I'm not, I mean, there's no do-over for this because I'm doing it. Um, also, we have a season two red dress. Um, taking casualties, so I think that's season two. Season four, okay, so this is a red one, so it's like more limited. Um, some of the red ones and the other versions of these cards would have numbers and oh wait this one does so this is 49 out of 50 so there are only 50 cards made of this one that have the red embossing on it so that's a good one um, season one um, season two right yes be cool if they had put like on these cards like what episode or like what season all these photos are from because honestly they start to blend after a little while of me staring at these all these different photos um so okay i'm gonna move this one over since um so we've got two special cards so far okay so none of the hits um yet okay next pack so this is the third pack Jamie's wounds <gasps> well there's one hit I unfortunately already have this um, so it's 197 out of 200 so it's um, a fabric um, swatch um, from the same fabric that was used to make um, Jamie's wardrobe. So it's a uh, This card features an authentic piece of, of the fabric used to create the wardrobe for Jamie Frazier So it's kind of like a felty kind of And then that Which is season two. I think I was right at the first episode of season two. I think Next one Open, promise I'm trying to do this as fast as I can. Um, season one, Sassanac, Sassanac, whatever. If you um, listen to my, oh, hello, I got a printing plate. A yellow printing plate. So those are kind of rare. I've gotten them before. Um, I think it was season two trading cards. I've gotten one and I traded it because I didn't really care. For printing plates but some some collectors do like to get those so um highland charge exchanging vows and then uh Fergus and mercilly all right Next one. 
leading Jamie to the light. Advocate for rebellion. Ooh, I got one of these. So it's kind of, you're not going to be able to really tell, but it's supposed to be like um, hologram-ish. -y, I don't know. Anyways. Oh, sorry. Doesn't help when you drop cards either. Lenticular cards. L5. Sorry, my hands are really shaking right now. Apologies. It's just something that my hands like to do. Um, Losing Faith from Season 2. And then um, hatching a plan. It's my last pack. Hopefully I get something good, but feeling like maybe I won't. But we'll see. That's cool. Stephen Walters signature with a swatch and it's, there are only 25 of these. So actually that's really good. So I got number 14 out of 25 and that actually that piece of fabric is really cool. Thank you, Stephen Walters. And then my last card is from season two. No, is that one? It might be one. I think it's one. Yes, it's one. So that's that. So out of that box, um, so I got one red seal, one star power, um, one lenticular card, one printing plate, and oops, let me move them down. Sorry. And um, another wardrobe card. Fortunately, it doesn't have Sam's signature on it. Um, I'm like randomly like usually when I buy a um, uh, trading card boxes I usually at least get one Sam Hewen um, autograph so this will be one of the first ones I don't have one for him but I have a few others on other cards so um, these are the CZX cards are still available for purchase at retailers online like I said I got mine at Dave and Adams and they're on sale um, really nicely and I've been looking on eBay and auctions are going up for about the same amount of money um, or a little bit higher um, because you got to pay for sh shipping as well I think my shipping was like 10 bucks for this um, and then you got some free gifts too um, not if they were basketball cards I really didn't care um, but anyways but feel free to um, comment um, if you're interested in this kind of stuff or if you need more information, um, we've got a really good trading group on Facebook where I'll probably trade some of these um, for something else I still need. Um, but yeah, um, season four trading cards are coming out soon. So if you would like to get in on this, um, you certainly can. There's already pre-orders for season four. Um, and they're, they're like 80 some dollars a box. Um, and yeah. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this little, um, unboxing video about these trading cards and I will talk to you later. Everyone be safe and be well.